freezing and flattening. What are these two things? What do they do? Why should you use them? How should you use them? Uh, I'm going to try and answer some of those questions for you today. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and take a look. A lot of times when freezing is brought up, it's talked about as a way to not stress your CPU as much and make it so that you're getting audio dropouts. But you can also use it creatively. Before we get into the creative side, let's go ahead and go over the practical side. So I've got this project pulled up here. Let's go ahead and try and find a track that's stressing the CPU so I can show you how we can fix that. So as we could see down here, in the CPU meter on Ableton Live 11, this track is stressing our CPU a little bit. So what we can do is we can freeze the track. All right, let's go ahead and play it again. So it's no longer putting as much stress on our CPU. Now, when the track is frozen, you cannot make changes to your effects that you have on it. And you can also not edit the MIDI. So just keep that in mind. This can also be really useful if you use universal audio effects like I do. So I have an Apollo Twin Duo and I find myself running out of DSP quite often. So a lot of times what I'll do is if I'm no longer mixing on that track, or at least if I'm at a good stopping point, I'll come down here and I'll freeze it. And now that it's finished freezing, you can see we have a lot more DSP to work with. All right, so moving along, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what flattening is. So if we come down here and right click this track that is already frozen, we're gonna have an option to flatten it now. So if I click flatten, it's gonna immediately convert this into audio. Now this is a lot quicker than exporting an individual track and dragging and dropping it back into Ableton. I just wanna give you a few ideas and show you like maybe why you would want to do this. One of the great things about Ableton is that its audio manipulation is amazing and you can do awesome things with it. Freezing and flattening your tracks is gonna open up a lot of possibilities to things you can't do with MIDI. One of my favorite examples of this is I have two audio tracks here that have the same exact sound. One was frozen and then flattened and the other one is just still MIDI. Now I have both of these pitched down five semitones from their original starting point. Now listen to how drastically different the audio sounds compared to the MIDI. Both of them have a completely different characteristic, and I'm not saying one is better than the other. However, you might want to use the warped audio over the MIDI depending on the type of track you're making and the type of style you're trying to put forward. Another really cool thing you can do with audio that you cannot do with MIDI is stretch it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I have the same thing stretched out, and I have the warp mode set to complex. So let's go ahead and listen to it. This is a really cool effect that you might hear in a lot of San Holo songs. I know he uses it a lot, so if you're wondering how he did it, that's how. Another interesting thing that I like to do with Frozen tracks is I'll take the, just the reverb trail and I'll reverse it and have it lead into the vocals. And this is something you hear a lot of times in pop and electronic music. And I actually made a tutorial on how to do this, so I'll have that linked up here if you guys want to check it out. If you guys have any interesting things that you like to do when freezing and flattening tracks, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. I think freezing and also flattening tracks can be a really great tool and I think it's something that every producer should know what it does but also how to do it and maybe why they would want to do it in the first place. I hope you guys learned something in this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But yeah, but other than that, you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.